you know, I think this type of inhumane treatment is seen as, you know, horrific in any culture. Um, however, I just think that in, you know, there is such a long experience in Afghanistan that goes back, you know, in the, over the last 30 years of war through the sort of the various phases of the Afghan war and some of the various regimes and repressive regimes that have been in place going back to the Soviet regime that there's been such, you know, a long history of abuse by security forces and also abuse and torture within the Afghan prisons that it's just expected, that it's seen as somewhat routine, that, of course, during the Soviet period with the Khad secret police who held de detention facilities and were quite famed for some of their torture methods and their repressive behavior, that, you know, this is, is expected. And this persisted, and of course, during the Taliban period, which was a, a brutal regime and, again, routinely violated human rights of the, the local population. So there's just such a fresh experience with this with various regimes that it's just seen, it's expected, it's routine in, in Afghan society today. So you have to kind of change the culture of the security establishment to, to see this thing as, as unacceptable because it's almost in, in, seen in parts of the security, uh, among some of the security forces, is this is that beating a prisoner um, is just something you do when they're in custody. Um, that understanding the rights of, of prisoners, of detainees, is not necessarily fully understood. And that's a matter of, of reform to address this. It's a matter of education. Um, and really, as I said, it's a matter of transforming the culture of some of these institutions. <laughs>